I don't you know we got back here again with more new stuff. This is the 2020 Hot Wheels Roadkill from Motor Trend. It's the 240Z on. It's the 50. All right, so if you like watching our diecast videos, and we know you do, so mucho mahalos for that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can get all the new notifications of all our new videos coming out as we serve it up. All right, we're going to get up into this. Now, if I heard you correctly, this is just one half of the other half, right? Yes, this is one half. So, um, so how do we... kill. Yeah. Okay. In how my head, I'm thinking like there's something mangled on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, how... or, or if you're something on to eat, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so how was it a, a partnership with Roadkill, uh, with Roadkill, with Motor Trend on the... <laughs> I was like, oh, this, there's something <laughs> called Roadkill, what? Yeah. Well, they, they've got a show on their, um, on their on-demand app, um, that's called Roadkill. With this purchase, it came with a one-year subscription to... Motor Trends online on demand video service. So it's like it's like Amazon, Netflix, Hulu. They all have original content. Motor Trend also has original content on their subscription service. So that's what these are. That's right. They're gonna be showing H dub fun no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be something, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> We got these two guys from Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I I believe it probably would start off with these two idiots. <laughs> I got these two clowns over there all, all the way out in the Pacific. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so let's look at this one. They did send it in a protector. It is not a premium version of the But it's car. in a protector, huh? Right. But it's in a protector because it comes with a lot of card art, which is pretty much... A cardboard with handwritten notes on it uh, but it's it is kind of cool you notice that it doesn't have a barcode so we're not gonna accidentally see this show up at the you know a retail yeah. store because there's no barcode for them to scan um, I don't think I'm gonna open this one yet I want to wait for the second car to arrive uh, and we'll do an opening of both of them let's get that in a close-up Earlier, you were showing it on the other camera. <laughs> oh yeah, I was. I I had it up because <laughs> I'm like, what? What is he talking? I can't see. I can't <laughs> see it. We're idiot. So now, from ahead. what I'm looking at, is that kind of like a rustic, kind of like rusted? I just I'll scrape all the paint off the car, and it's getting rusty because I was too lazy to paint it. Look. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is what. It looks like when they first get it. Oh, okay. Hence the word roadkill. So they find it, you know, like a Ford bond on road dead. <laughs> 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 All I right. So you just you just made a lot of guys mad. <laughs> well, I say that as a former Ford owner, <laughs> <laughs> which served me well. The car did well, so. You know, mine did too. I had a Bronco, and you know what, bro? I ran. I was like maybe like the fifth owner of that car. I, I bought it from my my uh, old boss at work, and you know it was a four by, and I ran that thing hard, and I got eight good years out of that car. So whenever somebody wow. talks crap about Ford, I'm like, you know what? Nah, man, my car ran good, and and it was like, like I said, the only thing I had to change out of that, I had to change the radiator. And the uh, U-joints, that's it. And the car ran for eight years. Like I said, I was like the eighth owner, you know, or the fifth owner, or something like that. The car got towed in front of our shop, and um, it was in a tow yard. And then so my boss was just going to leave it. He didn't, he didn't want it no more. And I told him, well, I like the car. And so he said he'll go half on me on the, um, you know, to get it out of the tow yard. Wow. And so we did, and yeah, and the car last, I cleaned it up, and, you know, painted it, and 
thing ran good. I like that car. It was really good. It's loud, but it was good. It was a good workhorse car. It was actually a fun car because when I had it all primered, you know, when somebody didn't want to let me cut in the lane, I just, yeah, <laughs> and people back off because nobody liked one ugly car hitting them, right? <laughs> Hence the word roadkill. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See, I, we uh, always have a story for our cars. Yeah, my my Ford Explorer went uh, 15, 16 years, I think. I had it 16 years. And then my mom wow. uh, drove it for another two years after. Until it finally didn't run. So Yeah, so, you know, Fords run hard. And we have a, a, uh, a Palavars... Who also has one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he's still driving that 97 T-Bird. Yeah. <laughs> he's done a lot of work to it, though. You know, I did a, a lot, lot of work, work to mine, to my... too. Uh, by 20,000 miles, I had to change the thermostat. I did change the radiator. I had to do a trans swap at 70,000 miles. Really? But I put in all genuine parts every time. Uh, Cause I well I worked at the car dealership, then I had the extended warranty, up to a hundred thousand miles. So I utilized wow. everything I could. So it had work. It, what did it in in the end was um, we couldn't. When I sold it to my mom, then um, they um, the radiator coolant was leaking somewhere, and we couldn't. We couldn't find the leak because it probably was leaking into the engine. Uh, but the oil wasn't milky. It was it was normal color. So it was probably just a, a really small leak that it would burn up inside the oil or leaking out of the radiator that it would come out as a mist and we, it wouldn't drip anywhere. So it, that finally did it in. Uh, my dad didn't want to pay to fix it so they just donated the car ah uh, yeah which so I, missed. Somebody, I missed the car somebody just was like hey all we gotta do is fix this <laughs> yeah you know what i'm i'm holding it right now i think i'm gonna open it <laughs> yeah let's just go for it we wouldn't be sub 5 if we didn't yes life is short you gotta enjoy yeah. about it so i'll put that in on the close-up you should see it in your screen too can I, can I get a close-up of the rims? I want to see what kind of rims are those. Are those so, steelies? Yeah, these are steelies. Let me bring that Oh, closer. dude, you know when you chrome those? Those look really, really nice. Oh, yeah, of course. They, they come out really nice. Like You don't even have to change the rim out. Actually, you know what? For as much trash I talk about, about cars, it's like, you know what? That actually looks nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, apparently... The reason why this one got mailed out now and not with the premium is because this is the old 240, Datsun 240Z casting. The new one is uh, retooled. So they're going to redo the casting again. So the, the wow. premium is going to be on the new casting. And so that's why these are coming in two car parts, not all together. And apparently that's due in by December 2020. So hopefully it comes on time and not another, yeah. <laughs> you know, not another shutdown of the world. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because of it. Well, I, I, I think if we get a second one, uh, that's the apocalypse already. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, I I think I was talking to my wife about that too. I was like, this kind of feels like. The Walking Dead. Yeah, just just that you know yeah. we can't run into a store yet because it's still occupied. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, this is kind of weird to, to go out on the road and not see much cars when we have the worst traffic probably in the in the nation. Oh yeah, our traffic is horrendous, man. If all you guys in the mainland think you got bad traffic, come to the HI. You'll know what bad traffic is. Yeah. You'd be like, how can this small dinky island get this many people? Yeah. Believe me, you think like there's giving away free beer someplace. Yeah. We've got one million licensed registered vehicles in the state. Yeah. And the majority of that, nine hundred thousand, is on this island. 
and about like probably like twenty thousand unlicensed fools driving around. Yeah. So, unlike a lot of uh, freeways and highways on the mainland where you can have alternate routes, we have one route. <laughs> yeah. You know, the alternate is Surface Street, which is which is backed up already. Yeah, because everybody goes like, oh, the freeway is backed up. Yeah, we'll go side streets. Guess yeah. what? Everybody else had that idea too. Yeah. So now you stuck over there. <laughs> no, everybody's stuck. But the good thing is, when you take the side streets, you can go through stores and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, you, you know, know was, you can just hang out and. You know what I was thinking is, I should have took out that uh, custom two forty Z that uh, somebody gave me. It's the same casting as this one, and he put the, some real riders on them. But oh wow, maybe we'll do that. I'll take out all the 240, the and 240Zs when we get the premium one in and we'll just do a large comparison. That'll be cool. Yeah. Like I said, I'm actually digging that. I don't know why it's appealing to me for some reason. I don't know why. It Everything just matches. Yeah. It. Sorry, I got my back to the... I'm trying to look for it right now. Maybe I could sneak it in, but... Um, it it kind of looks like what you would see <laughs> with rust and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you didn't see my 240SX when I had it. It was no, yeah. I, painted aftermarket, uh, the blue that it, it was when I got it. And um, the blue didn't have clear over it. It was kind of the, the new form of mixing clear in it. So it oh, had they gloss. Mixed, they mixed the clear in the paint. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it had gloss in the paint. You could see it when it was shiny. Um, but it oxidized really quick on top. So the top side would be oxidized. And I say oxidized because I could polish out the oxidation and the, the luster would come back. And I only have one existing picture of that 240SX. And it's in the dark. So that's when the car looked the best. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that car looks so awesome. Too bad you can't shed any light on it. Uh, something's wrong yeah. with my light. But anyway, I got to go now. So thank you for looking. Yeah. Well, I would spend hours with the, with the orbital waxer just getting that in. Uh, the compound wax would clean it off really well. But because, I, you know, if we had ceramic coating back then, I would have oh. ceramic coated it because it would have kept it from oxidizing over again. Ceramic coating. That is good. I wish I could get that. I'm just too, I don't have the patience to apply that, man. Well, it depends which ceramic coating you're looking at now. You have the one that you spray on and you can put on every three months and you have the one that's permanent that really has to be put on professionally or else it'll end up being lumpy and stuff. So there's two different kinds. Oh, I want wow. the spray on one because the spray on one, it's layered. So you, the one that I was looking at says you put one on now today, you let that cure for three days, you put on another coat and then you don't touch it again for three months. And in three months, when you put that coat on, it becomes a thicker coat on top of the two you already did. And after that, all you're doing is reapplying. It's a spray on, so you just spray it on and polish it in, and then at the same time you take the polish off, uh, and that's then that's done. That's it. And I was like, oh, that that sounds pretty easy. There's got to be a catch, though. I don't know what the catch is. That's why I haven't done it to my truck yet. You know, I just noticed, uh, I'm standing up looking down on the car, but right about here, it's painted from my angle to look like there's a dent in the casting. Kind of cool. Wow, we're like, uh, we're about 15 minutes in. What? The video. <laughs> 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 I didn't know. I didn't know we went that long. I, I thought you were looking 
before the car, so I was waiting you for bring your daughter car. Oh, I was, I was, but because I moved all of this over here, it could be in the second uh, row in the back, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, okay, so. <laughs> well, we're going to thank everybody that stayed this long. <laughs> yes, we are, because it is long, and we thank you. We are. <laughs> HLOVE 5 Now, for you new viewers out there, don't worry, the brain fart ain't contagious. But what is contagious is our videos. So we want you to subscribe to our channel, like it, and don't forget to uh, tell all your friends, neighbors, co-workers, and weird people that do get brain farts on a daily basis, all right? Check the end screens for videos of uh, one that we think you like, one that YouTube thinks you like, and for a link to our second channel. All right, so we got more stuff on the way. Just hang out with us. Mahalo.